All right, good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. Now, we're doing something new today. We're going to start to cover our mini lessons. Now, mini lessons consist of 20 minutes. Once our kids get down this mini lesson, they disperse and they go into their small groups. All right, let's get started. All right, for today's problem, we are adding and subtracting using base 10. Now, here's our question. The construction company was repaid Highway 59. They had repaid 2.24 miles yesterday. They had 1.56 miles left to pay today. Now, how many miles of highway did they pay altogether? Now, with this particular problem, you know that we are dealing with decimals, right? Decimals. Now, what's the first thing that we do when we're working with a word problem? What kind of chart are we going to put? Volunteer? QSA? A KQSA? Correct. KQSA chart. Now, with our KQSA chart, our friends are going to put this on every, I mean every single word problem. You have your K, you have your Q, you have your S, you have your A. Now your K stands for, what do you know? Your Q stands for, what is the question asking? Your S stands for, your strategy, and your A represents? Answer. Answer. Okay. Now looking at this particular question, what is something that we know? Volunteer? Uh, we know that they have repaid 22, two, two and 2400 miles uh, yesterday. Okay, so we are going to circle that they repaid 2.24 miles. And what is something else that we actually know? Uh, what we also know is they have 1.56 miles left, hundreds miles left to pay. Okay, so we have 1.56 miles. And what is Q? Our question. What is our question asking? Mm, Joshua. How many miles of highway did they Right. How many miles of highway did they pay all together? So this part we underline. So you circle what you know, right? You underline your question. Now, going to my S, what is my strategy? Can someone tell me the strategy for this problem? Ever? Addition. Addition, okay. So we're going to add. What is the key word to represent addition? What is the key word that represents addition? Carter. All together. All together. You see something that say all together, total, sum. You know that's going to be a addition problem. All right, so we know we're going to add 2.24 miles and 1.56 miles. Now, we are dealing with decimals, right? Okay. There's many ways you can look at this. If I was to look at this utilizing our base 10 blocks, how many flats would a two represent? Rex. How many flats would a two represent? Yes. Uh, two flats? Yeah. Uh, 20. No, 200. 200? Or two what? Thousands? Two, almost caught. Holes? Yes, two holes, okay? Because you know one flat represents one whole number. And if I have two flats, this is another one whole number. So if I have one whole number plus one whole number, how much would that equal? Two. 
I see. Two whole numbers. Two whole numbers. Okay. Okay, so if I have two whole numbers, that represents my two. Now, what represents my 24? Thinking in terms of decimals, what would 0.24 represent? What would 0.24 represent? Carter? Uh, 2,400. 2,400, okay? Now, coming back to the board, You have to know that your hundreds are broken down into units. How much is a unit? Can someone tell me? JJ. One. One. Okay. One, two, All right, so we have a grid. Now, 24 will represent what? How many units would be shaded in? Quarter. 24. 24. All right, so we're going to shade in one 10 rod, shade another 10 rod. How much is that? 20. 20. So now I need to shade in one, two, three, four individual units. And this will equal.